I think I'm she's have, I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to gang stalk Meigs and get her over here. Yeah, yeah, that's the way it is. Okay, <laughs> I'm, so, kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. Blue okay. Kitty, there. Who do we got there? That's uh, I'm called the Blue Kitty. <laughs> You're the <laughs> Jesse Spots is the Blue Kitty. Yeah. It will be a mystery why I am called the Blue Kitty, but the Blue Kitty is here. Can- can we I can show, show, can I show the uh, the show, screenshot, show. Jesse? Can show, I show everybody screenshot? why you're the blue kitty. We got to show the screenshot. Okay. I'll catch everybody up. We have uh, two callers currently on the line. Okay, uh, one okay. second. Call, we'll get, no, no, we'll get but call, callers, when you do call in, please stay muted, because otherwise we end up with a party line and everything gets confusing. And four <laughs> K bits. Thank you, Jesse, for that. with the uh, with you're the my uh, call yes, the neon blue headphones. Right and there. they do flash like a rave. I can have a, a there rave they are. setting. Yeah. <laughs> Those are not double horns. Those are cat ears. Uh, That's funny. And they flash, y'all. It's so funny. It's courtesy so funny. of uh, courtesy of our favorite website, Dan. Uh, the the Goodwill auction site. Goodwill that, auction uh, site is a great place to find. Uh, nobody yeah, knows yeah. it. No, you, you, no, it's just nobody knows about it. it. Hey, yeah, just keep that on the download. Yeah, is that's a great place to find yeah, some, yeah. some good merchandise right there. Really There's cheap. Secret uh, information, y'all, yeah. for being a member of the After Hours Club. That's right. Easy. That's right. I, so uh, well online. You know? I pretty much got that for the cost of shipping right there. And uh, there you, you can too. Oh, Blue <laughs> Kitty. <laughs> okay, 4K so bids. Got- Thank you. So we're just going to get right into this and start with the history of the furries. Now, the furries, what are the furries? We're gonna look at that. This is the father of the furries. And for those of you that are, that are in your 30s and 40s, you'll remember this film. This is The Shining. And this was the first time in film that they came clean about the furries. Why? How can you say that, Casey? What do you mean? Because The Shining came out in 1980. It was a horror film by Stanley Kubrick, of course, but it predated the very first incident of a furry and the concept of the furries. They happened in the same year. That is not an accident. According to the fandom historian, the concept of furry originated at a science fiction convention in 1980, the very same year that The Shining came out. Now, I'm going to connect the dots here for you guys because this is very important. Because this furry was associated uh, with a homosexual act with this man, and as well as the twinning and the fracturing. This is the big white elephant in the room that everybody missed in the film The Shining. And that was, is that it was about paperclip it was about mind control it was about trauma based mind control which means that when trauma is inflicted on a child that child then fractures off their personality okay and this furries epidemic that we're undergoing right now i'm going to show you some examples of that of how it's permeating into the consciousness of our reality through media social media and they're pushing this agenda This is all based on stepping outside of yourself and into the beast, right? Fractured personality. And I'm going to show you some images here. This is Danny from that same film, The Shining. And here behind him, you see the furries as well. This is the thing. Nobody caught this. You guys, this is new information. Nobody caught that this was really about furries, mind control, trauma-based. Well, little Danny starts talking to a fictitious character in his head named Tony the Tiger. And this is the therapist, and she's discussing with his mother exactly what happened. That Danny's arm got dislocated, the mom says. And when that happened, Tony the Tiger mysteriously emerged, which is a furry. But more importantly, this is the beast. Now, on... Little Danny's wall, you see Little Bird and the Big Bird. You see the Little Snoopy and the Big Snoopy. Let me zoom this in for you guys here. Okay. You can see what's going on. The Little Bird and the Big Bird. 
<laughs> little Snoopy, big Snoopy. This uh, is all but, about the flashed, paperclip. Oh, it's so funny. And the paperclip uh, means far more than you can yeah? ever imagine. Uh, I'm going to show that will, to you auction, right now. Well, it's a great place These to find are the uh, paperclips. Yeah. And when you look at the paperclips, you understand yeah, yeah. That, on the that there is a yeah, small a shape within a bigger shape. That is the paperclip. And this is what I wanted you guys to understand. I don't know why. Some, some of these other um, channels that, that do research on sex abuse of children haven't delved into this, maybe because it's a little bit more esoteric and they're, they're maybe focused on finding these criminals. And that's fine, too. We all have our gifts, right? Project Paperclip was really all about the little shape within the big shape, the Tony the Tiger within the boy. Okay. It's the person within the furry. So once you fracture off your personality, then all kinds of things are possible. And this is what's happening with Project Paperclip. Okay. That is the second phase, so to speak, of Paperclip. It is the other side of the coin. They'll tell you parts of the truth, but they're not going to tell you the whole truth. So they had to have some cover story as to why all these German Nazi scientists were cruising around at the upper echelons of our academic institutions. 